Hello everybody, Kathy Nix here. Today I want to talk to you about rotational gravity in Space Engineers. Um, so I tried a little bit of experimenting lately regarding uh, getting something like this, a rotational uh, gravity ring working. Um, and I got something that looks pretty good, although it has some important caveats which I'll get to in a minute. So first of all, let me jump back into third person or first person mode and you can see here that we've got the stars spinning around and I have no um, uh, no jetpack on right now so I'm just walking around the ring you can see we have these uh, these little rooms and it's not an absolute perfect circle obviously because you know space engineer is box based uh, but it works pretty well and you can see you know you can sort of stare out the window and, and look at things rotating by um, but now to the caveats. Uh, I'm totally cheating, and I'm cheating in two different ways. One is that I can't actually turn unless I am walking, and I don't really know why that is, but uh, uh, for some reason if I'm stationary and I try to, to turn around, uh, it just doesn't, it doesn't do anything. If I go into third person mode and zoom in here, you'll see that if I'm walking I can turn just fine, but as soon as I stop and try to turn, my character sort of boogies instead. I'm not really sure why, but there you go. Um, so that's kind of a limitation. Uh, the other thing is that in order for the game to know which way is is actually considered down, you have to have a gravity field. And so that's the big cheat, is that I do actually have a small rotational gravity generator. Um, or spherical gravity generator way up in the center here. I have it set to produce as little gravity as it possibly can while still orienting me. So it's actually um, set to negative 0.5 Gs. So, or sorry, 0.05 Gs. So it's as little as, as humanly possible. You can see now if I want to turn, I have to start walking. Um, so the vast majority of the gravity is actually being generated by the rotation. And you can see that if I jump my uh, trajectory down to the ground is a little bit interesting. Um, actually, it'll probably be very different depending on whether I'm walking spinwards or anti-spinwards. Let me, let me try that. Ugh, I can't turn. Okay, the other way to turn is turn on the jetpack for a minute, and then you can turn. Okay, so now if I jump... Yeah, see that? I'm going anti-spinwards now and so I can't jump nearly as far. So there's actually, you get some realistic physical effects here. Um, but as far as I can tell, if I, oh yes, and by the way, the third big caveat is uh, I can't, um, I can't stay put. If I try to, well, <laughs> I turn on the jetpack, you notice for real, but if I, if I just stand here and stare at the wall, you'll notice that I'm very slowly sliding across the floor. And the only way to not do that is to sit in a chair, which is why I have these. So, uh, there we go. So now, now I'm stationary, for now. Um, so let's let's compare this to what happens if I. Um, that's an interesting bug. Can't say I've ever seen that one before. I'm inside the blocks. That's kind of cool, actually. Okay, so um, if I were to stop the rotor. and then get out of the chair, you can see now I can turn just fine. There's no problem. Of course, I'm, because it's a spherical gravity generator and not a cylindrical gravity generator, as I move left to right, which way up is changes on that axis. Um, and if I walk around, you'll see the exact same thing as before, where down is always the right way. But now I can turn. There's no problem. Jumping is, you know, as you'd expect. Um, and now let's see what happens if I turn off the gravity generator and turn just the rotor on. And this is going to be kind of motion sicky inducing, so please, viewer discretion is advised. Okay, so we'll turn the rotor back on. Turn the gravity generator off. Okay. And now it has automatically turned on our jetpack. Uh, but if I turn the jetpack off, you can see we do sink to the bottom. 
it does actually give us some gravity, but the game has no idea which way down is. Um, and so it just sort of orients the camera in whichever way seems best to it at the time, um, which I guess is a fixed frame of reference based on where you were when you turned the jetpack off, maybe? I don't know. All I know is that keeping the floor pointed downward is possible, but it's difficult. You have to rotate and roll, and half the time you're, you know, on your back. Um, and of course, you know, if I go into third-person mode, my poor space engineer looks pretty helpless. <laughs> this is not really a great way to, to do things. And of course, the, the player model is constantly falling, um, so you can't actually walk. There's literally no way to move. Um, yeah, just see what I mean about motion sickness, sorry. Um, and, uh, yeah, so the only way to, to get out of this now I can't I can't move at all is to turn the jetpack back on, and then, of course, if I have inertial dampeners on, I go flying down the corridor spinward. Um, and then if I turn off inertial dampeners, eventually I can come to a stop... And now I can sort of move, but it's cheating because I'm using my jetpack. And wow, I'm not really sure what's going on now. That's kind of interesting. <laughs> I appear to be rolling, and I don't know why. Um, okay, well, anyway, so that wasn't a very good experiment, was it? Um, so let's turn the generator back on. And now you can see with that present, and if I turn off the jetpack again, now it's much better, much easier to move. Um, but again, I have that problem where I can't turn unless I'm walking. And I don't even know, like sometimes, like right now I can't turn and I am walking, so uh, I'm not really sure what's going on there. Maybe if I walk backwards? Yeah, there we go. If I'm walking whichever direction this is relative to the, to the spin, I can turn fine. But if I turn around, yeah, I can't turn anymore. So that's interesting. Um, that's got to be some subtle bug in the game engine. So, in short, it's possible, um, but you're going to be cheating a lot. And there are some caveats which make life difficult for you if you actually spin up the rotor. Meaning that from a purely gameplay perspective, you ought to just pretend <laughs> and have a spherical gravity generator. But then, of course, you don't get the lovely sensation of of walking by and, and seeing the stars spinning outside the window, which is, of course, half the point. So with that, I will sign off and uh, see what you guys can do with this, if anything. <laughs> Take care.